Holy crap, holy. If you were to see some of the things that didn't make the cut, they were weird. I mean, this show is weird enough already. It was a lot weirder. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Katy Perry and I'm here with Refinery29 and we're backstage at my residency in Las Vegas, Play. These are my props and everything is oversized. Everything has a sense of humor to it. This is the setting for my first scene that introduces me, that introduces Henry the Horror, that introduces the fact that I'm a doll in this kind of toy filled world. But check out these nails. This dirt, it's intentional. He's like grimy and dirty and he's not very sweet to the Katie doll. I love inanimate objects coming to life. So like, a toothpaste costume, right? A toilet. This is my massive 20 foot toilet that actually opens and closes and I pop up in it. This is my mushroom world. And this mushroom right here is actually a platform, like a little stage for my guitarist, Devin, to come up and do her thing. And she has pyro on her guitar and she does a solo and it's pretty rock and roll. And instruments, I mean, I have all these props and stuff, you've got to get some really cool instruments in here too. And then of course, my snail that I ride on in. It comes to life and I have tamed it. But this little I call him Mr. Poopette. I've created a monster because everybody likes him. They've really come to see him instead of me. All right, follow me, because we're going to go to some places that I don't typically show people, but I'm going to show Refinery29. So I change costumes maybe like eight times. Oh, well, they're not even in here, but I will tell you, this is one of my capes. This cape lights up. Um, you can come in, come on in. But yeah, I live in this box right here. So it's right off the side of the stage, and typically there's a, uh, we'll see is, is a rack of all these costumes. And I am holding on to this and I'm getting undressed, unzipped. And then I step away and I go back into the next costume and I suit up. It's like um, what are, like the pit at like a NASCAR race or something. That's what this is. So this is where the dancers change right next to me. They're wearing these crazy helmets. And they have like masks over their face, like nylon. Oh yeah, here's some of the masks, see? This is where the sound is run. Hi guys, hi Scott, hi Ricky. Check out these mics. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is actually my favorite mic because it has a little dingle dangle. A little dingle dangle mushroom. Hey Jay. Hey. This is Jay, everyone. Hi guys. Um, he is the manager for everything on this stage. He's the boss daddy. And um, this is also Patrick. Hi. Patrick uh, makes sure that I don't fall from things that I'm hanging from. And he's done that for me for years. So I actually trust him with my life. Um, and this is an oversized comb. How long have we been working together? 12 years. 12 years. Right? 12 Who's years. counting, huh? No one. No one. <laughs> Well, this show is really a celebration of all things that I've been able to do and all the music I have been able to put out and all the, you know, success and songs and nostalgia. My show is like a pretty much a family friendly show. I say it's 8 to 80. People are singing along and the nostalgia is through the roof. Here's another inanimate object, the toothbrush. You know, you really have to learn how to wear these suckers because you could fall over. We've only had one time where someone has fallen over, but there was a, I think a toilet plunger down. This is a massive rocking horse and I ride it. It's crazy the feeling being on top of there and having it rock. This is one of my clocks, props. This is a puppet, who knew? This is the, for the trash section, it's like a wheel. Those are just regular cones. Not props. This is like an accumulation of just my whole life past and all the songs and all the celebrations and all the eras and themes and bringing them all to light here on the stage in Vegas. I would say that like, yeah, it, it can be challenging just to kind of sometimes remember the dance steps because I go on the stage for three weeks and then sometimes it's up to nine weeks that I don't do the show at all. 
So that means I always come in the day before the first show of the run and I am always rehearsing. I would say like the biggest challenge of making sure this show is always 100% is working out in between the runs, which I am not necessarily, I don't love it, I do it, um, but I'd rather just eat and veg. <laughs> This is the rat, his name is Ratso. His eyes move and everything, it's amazing. And yes, he smokes a vape because he's like ratty, tatty guy <laughs> that's seen it all in Vegas. Just like won't leave the strip. He's like, he's a part of the strip, you know? This is a, a box for cereal. Some frosted KPs. You can't not miss this massive bathtub. I mean, this bathtub is the size of a New York apartment. The most rewarding part of doing this show is just like the continual jaw dropness of the audience, the scale that we get to utilize, the props. I couldn't take this type of show on the road. And the truth is I haven't played this size venue in a long time and I really enjoy it because I get to really be close to the people. Typically I'm playing these arenas where it's fantastic and there's an energy and stuff, but there's only a small section of people that are really, really close to me and everyone kind of feels a little far away. So it feels like really intimate in a way, but this show is truly larger than life. Come downstairs with me. I'm gonna show you some costumes, maybe a couple of mine. My costumes are here. What are you doing, Lisa? These are the heads of wardrobe. Don't mess with them or they'll zip you up into a costume, won't they? Uh, heads of wardrobe, Tony, Lisa, Jay, everyone. So these are my costumes or some of them. Here is my bottle top can bra dress that actually has beer in it. But the truth is, Sugar-free Red Bull. That's what it is. Looks a lot like beer and I need it for about that time in the show. I'll tell you what. This is um, for my mushroom set. I've got some chaps where my buttocks, my glutes kind of out. This is for the bathroom scene and it's really fun. It's supposed to be kind of like a glitzy glam towel. And here we are with Tony, Tony, Tony. What are you doing, Tony? Meticulously replacing your rhinestones on your big showstopper. Finale. That's right. That, do you smell the smell of hot glue anymore or super glue? No, no, no. no. It's like there's a lot of interesting smells in wardrobe and you just get used to it. You do. <laughs> this is a fabulous costume. It's in act five. five, yes, five, thank you. When people see it, they just gasp, I think, because it is just so beautiful. So my hats, and this is one of my favorite hats because I feel like it's on all of the images for the show and when I introduce the show, it's the mushroom hat. Oh, this one's really cool too. You'll see it at the very end. And then this one is like the trash cape, which is awesome. And these are all of my costumes. And guys, if you haven't seen play, what are you waiting for? It's just so much fun and an opportunity to really have that playful kind of um, moment again and act like a child and remember just the joy that, you know, sometimes we forget. All right, I'm on the stage in like an hour and a half. I gotta go get ready. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm Katie Perry and thanks Refinery29. I'm gonna go.